Blessings. I'm going to read Isaiah 54, verses 17 to you all. And I am going to break it down with some biblical usage definitions. And it says, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thy shall condemn. This is the heritage of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. Okay, you all. Condemn means to be wicked, act wickedly, to be guilty, be condemned, to condemn as guilty. Okay. Possession, property, inheritance, hitterage, property, portion, share, hitterance, portion. I want you all to know that when we condemn some, thy shall condemn. This is what it means. This is the biblical definition of this word. This is why we are doing this, because we are the righteousness of God. Here's the definition of righteousness. Righteousness, justice. Righteousness of judge, ruler, king of law, of God, attribute, in a case or cause, truthfulness, as ethically right, as vindicated, justification, salvation of God, prosperity of people, righteous acts, saith, declaration, Revelation of prophet in a static state. Okay. Utterance. Declaration. Elsewhere. Always proceeding. Divine name. Okay, you all. So no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. No matter what nobody do. No matter what they try to do. It will never prosper. The weapons may form. You need to know that. They can form. But they will not prosper. And you need to know that you can condemn them weapons because you are the righteousness of God. You are the righteousness. So that is why you are able to condemn them weapons because you are the righteousness of God. They may form. Remember that. Just because the weapon form, that does not mean it's going to prosper. Blessings to you all.